Hey you guys, what is up? It is your girl Jasmine Destine. I'm back with a new video. I am so excited because we're doing a maintenance vlog. I know you guys love my maintenance vlogs. I love doing maintenance vlogs. I love getting beauty services done. I love doing beauty services to myself. I love maintenance. I love monthly maintenance. It is about that time. I need to do some new nails because these Christmas nails gotta go. We're about to be in a new year. It's about to be 2022. I need a pedicure. I need to wax um, pretty much my entire body. Um, and I want to get my lashes done. And then I also want to figure out what I'm doing with my hair. So overall, we just have a bunch of things that we need to get in order. And I thought I'd vlog it for you guys. So I'm actually on my way to the nail salon right now. I have a 12 o'clock appointment to get my pedicure done. And I'm still trying to decide if I want to um, have them take off these nails or if I want to just take them off myself like later on. Honestly, I'll decide once I get there. But let's head to the nail salon. It is the next day. We've got a lash appointment to get to. I just hopped out the shower. I got my little fit on. Um, it's raining again, so this today I had to put on um, some boots because yesterday I wore my Yeezy foam shoes. And even though my feet didn't get wet, I was just like, they got really dirty. And I was like, mm -mm, no girl. So I got my little boots on. Let me show you my outfit actually, because it's kind of cute. <laughs> Body by Raven. I got on these boots from Zara. This jacket is from Boohoo. I've had it for years now. Just a little crop puffer. And my black Tofeezy. That's not the name of it. Oh, and I have on a pink New York fitted. Let's go to my lash appointment so I can get these lashes on. I'm so excited. This is literally my favorite part of maintenance is getting my lashes on because I just really, after that, yeah that bitch is activated she's very much activated and i'm ready so let's go you guys i just left my lash appointment i know i look a little crazy because i got my headphones on with my little hoodie i forgot to vlog when i was in there but i was in there for like three hours but like i'll pop my lashes fuck literally miss rebecca she's that girl when it like Period. Okay, yeah, I'm about to head home. 
and I'll see you there. Hey you guys, so I'm about to wax. I have my wax warmer here. It's already warmed up and everything and I pulled my hair back so it's out of my face. We're gonna be doing the armpits because they're a little hairy and I'm gonna be doing my upper lip as well. And then I usually clean up my brows. I typically do this like once a month. Um, I'm not a like overly hairy person and waxing my underarms and my face has caused the hair under my arms and on my face to grow back thinner and a lot slower which is why I like to wax because honestly like when I used to shave this has been like this is literally probably like a month since I waxed last I have like a whole gap right here like the hair literally just stopped growing right there so funny but like if I shaved and waited a month girl i would be able to braid this like <laughs> it would just be doing too much so that's why i like to wax and honestly it's so simple it's so easy i do it at home i always get comments what the white stuff is that i put on it's cornstarch i used to use baby powder a long time ago but i was getting a ton of comments uh baby powder is not good for you so i stopped using baby powder apply powder to the area that you're about to wax because it allows the hair follicles to not be like oily or greasy if you have product under there or anything. So when you put the wax on, it really grips the hair and it will take it out. Trust me, you need to do this. Do not skip that step. Don't skip it, girl. The last part of my maintenance is gonna be doing my hair, which I'm gonna be doing a little bit later today. This is like an old blowout straight in. So honey, she needs to wash deep condition she's dry and crusty yeah she gotta go <laughs> she gets to go so yeah i'm gonna wash deep condition and braid my hair because i'm gonna be putting a wig on nice little protective style so yeah let's get into this waxing <laughs> waxing earlier and now I'm about to get in the shower and wash my hair yeah it's definitely time to wash the hair I just have my towel thrown around because I'm about to literally hop in the shower let me start the shower I was just listening to my Apple music um like wrap up or like Apple music replay is what it's called they made me a a playlist of my most played songs. I think it's like my top 100 or something like that. And then they told me like my most played albums and my favorite artists. And literally like I'm not even surprised because the way I played out these albums is so funny. And it's also kind of crazy to me that like every year Drake typically drops either at the end of summer or around his birthday, Scorpio season. So it's just like, he's always in my top five, but he's always like in my top three. And ciao. It's literally him being my number one play. You've listened to 576 different artists so far this year. Here are your current favorites. And Drake has 145 hours. Like what? <laughs> Doja Cat, Nicki, y'all know how I feel about Nicki. Summer and Wizkid, and Nicki didn't even drop an album or anything this year, like. She's my top three because I really play her all the time. Like, Summer, Summer was getting, like, the fact that Summer's on here and she just dropped. And then Wizkid, of course Wizkid. Yeah, I'm gonna put this little playlist on, wash my hair. And then I'm gonna do a deep conditioning, I'm gonna do a deep conditioning mask when I get out of the shower. And I'll show you guys that. So I'll see you. 
Alrighty you guys, that is the end of this maintenance vlog. It basically took me a week to get myself all the way together, but I honestly feel so amazing. Like I said earlier, it is New Year's Eve, so I'm actually gonna be bringing in the new year like this. And honestly, I feel so comfortable. I feel so beautiful, I feel so feminine. I feel so me, like honestly, I feel like that's what my maintenance routine does for me. Literally all of these things just make me feel like me. They bring me back to who I am as a person. I like being well-groomed, well-maintenance. I probably am considered high maintenance, but honestly, in the best way possible. I just love feeling pretty, looking pretty, feeling good about myself. When you look good, you feel good, and when you feel good, you do good, and I'm trying to do good in the world. That's literally like my little saying that I say in my head, so. Yeah. Girl, in a little slick back bun. I'm leaving the mask in my hair overnight. I'm gonna wash it out in the morning. So yeah, that's why. I just did my baby hairs and I just pulled it back into a little bun. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this maintenance vlog, then make sure you give it a huge thumbs up down below. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Turn on your post notifications. Join the tribe. We are doing amazing i cannot wait for next year i literally can't wait for 2022 i just know it's going to be such an amazing year for me i'm claiming it now i am manifesting all of my desires and goals i'm going to work hard i'm going to put the work in and i'm going to do it and it's going to happen because i deserve it and i'm manifesting that and i'm claiming that for myself and i'm claiming it for you too everybody watching i love you guys so much don't forget you are smart you are beautiful and people love you i love you and i can't wait to see you on my next upload bye